Hey guys, so today we have diesel particulate filter or DPF and has the simple role uh, to trap harmful exhaust particulate matter from diesel engines. Now the emissions of, partic uh, the emissions of particles appears due to the incomplete combustion uh, of the fuel and this problem can be eliminated by optimizing the injection and combustion process also called pre-combustion treatment or with exhaust treatment called post combustion. Uh, this filter is mounted uh, on the exhaust manifold and to function properly it needs a few temperature and pressure sensors and a fuel injector and also a diesel uh, oxidation catalyst. DPF is not a flow through device like a catalytic converter the channels of the filter are blocked uh, forcing the, the gases to go through the filter uh, most of the DPFs are made from ceramic material like cordialite wall, flu, uh, wall flow filters uh, with a honeycomb look uh, with a low melting point for uh, cordialite around 1200 degrees celsius or it can also be used uh, silicon carbide uh, with a melting point of 2800 degrees Celsius and 99% filtration efficiency. Uh, due to the process of retaining part uh, particles, uh, the filter needs to be re regenerated. Uh, particulate filter uh, regeneration means burning the matter stored in the filter. This regeneration process means uh, a continuation of the combustion process inside the filter. And it can be done in two ways, using a fifth uh, injector mounted before the catalytic converter or uh, on the exhaust manifold, or to divide fuel injection uh, and to delay post-injection. The decision to regenerate the particle filter is taken by the injection computer based on the information received from, uh, from all these sensors. And with the aid of the pressure sensor before and after the filter uh, is estimated the degree of loading of the filter. There is also a system with, uh, with a single sensor mounted before the, uh, the DPF that makes the difference between exhaust pressure and atmospheric pressure. Regeneration can also be active, passive and forced. Uh, now, the active, active uh, re regeneration is activated by the ECU when the level of exhaust matter passes 45% with little adjustment in fuel injection timing and increases the exhaust gas temperature around 600 degrees Celsius. Uh, passive re regeneration appears in normal uh, driving conditions when DPF gets hot enough. And forced uh, regeneration is made with diagnostic uh, equipments in service stations. So I hope you understood how this works and uh, I see you next time. Bye.